guys, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to be undecorating what is left of my winter and Christmas decor, saying goodbye to the cold weather and welcoming in spring. I'm also gonna be taking you along with me to go shopping at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Home Goods, my three favorite places to check out amazing and affordable home decor. If you do like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit the like button to let me know that you enjoy these types of videos. And please subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would love to have you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm just starting by taking down all of the decor that I had left over on top of my fireplace mantle. I had taken down the ornaments and the tree a while ago. This was pretty much just all of my winter decor that I left out that I thought would be kind of nice through January and February. I'm not really one to decorate for Valentine's Day. Comment below if you like to decorate for holidays like Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. I really tend to go with seasonal decor that I can leave up for long periods of time. Um, so what I'm doing here is just kind of taking that stuff down and if you notice the fireplace area, um, I have a non-working wood burning fireplace and so this year I just kind of decorated it with fake candles and wood and some really pretty Christmas tree picks that I got from Michaels and I just kind of created my own really interesting looking uh, fireplace decor and I thought it was really cool how it looked just like a real fire was in there but it was safe and it was really affordable to do that so I'm just taking down the rest of the stuff and then I'm gonna move on to cleaning and making this place look much better than it does right now <laughs> So of course, I still have a corded vacuum. Um, I wish I was one of those people that could afford a cordless vacuum, but uh, clearly that is not in my budget right now. Um, I actually really like this vacuum. I've had it for a really long time and it's supposed to be for pets. Uh, I used to have a cat and I would say it does a pretty decent job of cleaning up pet hair and other things like that. So if you are in the market for a corded vacuum, I would really recommend this one. Um, it's a Kenmore brand. I'll link it down below um, if you guys are interested, but um, I've been really happy with it and I use it a lot.
So this was the first Christmas in my new house since I bought it. And one of the things that I really wanted to do this year was decorate the outside of the house for Christmas time. So I went to Michael's and found these wreaths and the red ribbon that I tied on them. And I only have four windows on the front of my house and I was amazed at how affordable this was and what a difference it made to the curb appeal of my home. Um, I thought it was really awesome and the quality of these wreaths was incredible. I could not believe how well they held up. I live in Virginia and it's been a very rainy season. Um, these things have been rained on constantly, wind, um, all weather, and they have really held up well. I would say these are probably good for both indoor and outdoor. So if you are considering putting wreaths on the outside of your house next year or you're in the market for some new ones, I would highly recommend checking out Michael's. So some of you might be wondering why I have paper shades on some of my windows and no shades on others. <laughs> I am currently in the process of renovating my house. I've been working on it for about six months and still nowhere near finished. So some of the rooms are done, some of the rooms are not done. Um, of course, I still wanted to decorate for Christmas anyway. So these windows got wreaths even though there is nothing currently in this room right now. All right, so now that all the uh, home decor is put away, I am ready to head to the store. I think we're probably gonna do um, Hobby Lobby first, and then I'll hit up on my way home, Home Goods and Michaels. Let's go. The first place that I went for my home decor shopping was Hobby Lobby. And I have to say, Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite places for home decor. Not only is it super adorable, they are almost always on sale. I think this day that I went, it was 40% off all of their Easter and spring decor. So you can see that they have a lot of different styles, um, mostly farmhouse. I think if you're into farmhouse um, home decor, then you would really like Hobby Lobby, but they had a lot of bunnies. They had a lot of um, different Easter things, eggs, uh, trucks, different prints. And I was just really impressed with the quality of the things here too. I think that there's really something for everyone. I also had to stop by their section with all of their really cute signs. I've been looking for something to put above my kitchen table now for a while, and I found a few things here that I would probably consider getting, um, but I still haven't completely decided yet. But if you're looking for different signage in your home, Hobby Lobby is a great place to look. Again, very farmhouse, but I think they had a little bit of something for everyone of any style. Next stop was Home Goods, and Home Goods had a lot of florals this year. If you are somebody like me who really loves the look of having fresh flowers in your home, but 
you just can't commit to the expense of replacing them every couple of weeks, I would take a look at the selection at Home Goods. A lot of these looked really real and were really nice quality. They had tons of different colors and different sizes. There were a few that I was definitely tempted to pick up, but I think I'm gonna try a little bit of a DIY to get something similar for maybe a little bit less. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't know if you remember back at Christmas time when these sweet little gnomes were so popular. I saw them everywhere I went and I just love how they have them now for the spring. How cute. So in this next clip, I'm just showing you guys something that I might consider doing in my house. This really pretty wall art can be used in so many different ways. You can layer wreaths on top of it. I just thought what a simple look that that would be for changing it out for different seasons. So the last stop that I made was at Michael's and this place has very similar home decor to Hobby Lobby. I guess because they're both craft stores, they probably carry very similar brands. Um, a lot of this stuff was super cute and 50% off. So I would definitely check out your local Michaels and see if they are running the same sale for all of their spring and Easter decor. A lot of their stuff was so affordable with that sale price and absolutely adorable.
had to throw in a little bit of St. Patrick's Day decor for my viewers who are Irish or love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. They actually had some really cute stuff here at Michael's. But this is gonna be the end of our video. As always, thank you so much if you made it this far. Please hit the like button if you enjoy these types of videos so I know to keep making more of them. And please subscribe if you are new to my channel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you again in a brand new video. Bye guys.